hello again and this week's video is going to be a little bit different because there's going to be no photographs in this video that's half our uh, viewers gone um, so what we've been asked to do this week is do a, a short video on what I carry on in this bag you've all seen me carry this bag around quite an awful lot I do have people trying to distract me over there which is absolutely fine so I'm going to talk about what I carry in this bag uh, so first of all let's get the big things out of the way you'll recognize this it's a tripod uh, this goes absolutely everywhere with me. It's, uh, it's a Gitzo carbon fiber tripod and uh, just love it. It gets dirty, it gets mucked up, it gets covered in grit and sand. All the legs just come off. You give them a good clean, put them back together and it's pretty much as good as new every single time. Top of that, I have a Vanguard ball head, which again, it's not new. I've had it for quite a few years now, but like a lot of things, I just love that head and that's why it's on my tripod. Next bag bags are possibly one of the most personable things that you get in photography every photographer has got a different bag every photographer will tell you that their bag is wonderful and guess what they're all different but they're all great for the person that's using them when you find one you'll not want to get rid of it because I don't know you'll just find one that just works for you and this is this is the one that works for me it's uh, it's made by a company called Kata who are now owned by uh, Monfrotto, and uh, and this is a, it's, it's a great bag. It's it's pretty big, but it's got plenty of space for all the junk and rubbish that I that I do tend to carry around with me. Uh, I believe this is now called the Monfrotto Bumblebee. If uh, if you if you're after it at all, what else have I got on the outside of the bag? A few bits and pieces. I've got a little tripod holder, which uh, stick the tripod on. I've got this actually. This is my emergency survival kit. It's not really. It's a bit of funny joke stuff that. Um, that Jane Lyons bought me once when we were in Scotland and uh, it's got a whistle which is surprisingly loud and uh, it's got a little compass on it and it's got a lot of paracord it's got a little knife on it as well which is good for just sort of chopping a bit of vegetation but really it's useless it just sits there because that's where I put it when Jane gave it to me and it's been there ever since always have a drink always uh, get thirsty when you're out and about so nice pocket on the side for a drink what else have we got let's open some pockets up on here on the top one of these now these are really useful this is a lens cover a waterproof lens cover they all seem to come in camouflage just don't seem to be able to get them in any other color but um, they are really really useful for when it rains get that lens covered up keep it dry that lives in my bag there's also a nice slot here for uh, it's quite a bit of space in this uh, in this pocket and I would normally keep my jacket there because these this is a, just a rab body warmer and the great thing about these is they do roll up extremely small you can scrunch them in and, uh, and zip it all up. I'm wearing that, so I won't bother putting it in there. Top pocket now. Let's get in here, let's have a look. Right, things in here. First thing I keep in this top pocket is a bag of cleaning cloths. So always keep my cleaning cloths in the bag so they don't get dirty, clearly. And uh, just uh, clean my lenses, keep them nice and clean. Really important things to carry with you. Some people have their little pumper things and all sorts of stuff, but I just keep a, a bag of cloths memory cards we sometimes go through these like you wouldn't believe it so I've got this little memory card holder and uh, as you can see it's full of memory cards that I don't always use every, every now and again you'll need one and that's where I keep them today being a responsible adult I carry sanitizer keep my hands nice and clean when I'm touching people <laughs> yeah don't know why I've got a duct tape in there but <laughs> duct tape is always useful especially when you're meeting people you've never met before I also carry a torch because sometimes when you're going out doing landscape photography you'll be arriving before sunrise or you'll be leaving after sunset and it'll be pretty dark when you're going to somewhere where there's no light so a good little torch this is surprisingly bright and uh, it's got an LED lamp on the front the reason I like this one it's got a clip on it so I can clip it on my uh, on my rucksack and it lights up the way in front of me and it's it's great so that's my little torch and I think that's about it for that pocket or it should be put that back with my all-important duct tape which I'm still not why too sure why it's in there there's a memory cards go on the floor which is why they're in a solid box because it keeps them nice and safe as I say, plenty of space in the bag. On this side, a couple more pockets here before we get inside. My little grey bag. This is full of batteries and bits of stuff like that that we need to keep the power going. So 
I always have a bag for uh, for batteries, really important stuff. And then one more bag on this side. We'll pack it on this side and just a random, just another battery actually. I don't know why that's in there. That's a bag, a camera battery for my Nikon. Moving inside the bag, plenty of space in here, as you can see. So I've got a few lenses and a, a few other bits and pieces. Let's start with the camera first. So I, this bag will take several um, lenses if I need to, sorry, there's several cameras if I need to, but I normally carry just one. This is a Nikon D850, pretty much goes everywhere with me. And if I'm carrying this camera, nine times out of 10, it's gonna have this lens on the front, which is a 24 to 70, a good mid-range zoom, which is just great for 90% of, of photographs. You'll notice that I do not carry a shoulder strap because I absolutely hate them. I don't like having things dangling around my neck. So the first thing that comes off when I get a camera is a shoulder strap. It goes in a box and it never gets seen again. I'll probably dig it out when it's time to sell the camera. Um, but other than that, I never use a camera strap. So the second lens that I carry, that's our mid-range. Quite like to go wide a lot of the time for landscape. So this is a 15 to 30 zoom. It's a uh, Tamron one and oh, top's coming off there. And 2.8, love this lens, fantastic lens, actually gets better reviews than the Nikon equivalent. And just for added bonus, it's about half the price. So it's a well worth um, getting that lens if you're doing landscape photography. And especially for me, because I'm a little bit thrifty. Going the other way, one lens that a lot of people don't carry when they do landscape photography, and I really do recommend it, is the longer lens. This is a 70 to 200 2.8. This is the Nikon variant. And sometimes when you're doing landscapes, you want to get in a bit closer. You might want to compress that scene a little bit. And don't always think about taking the big wide view. Think about what can be sort of picked out in a, in a scene. So this is a great lens for doing that. Tucked in the bottom, a random set of headphones. Not too sure why they're there, but uh, I'm sure they're there for a reason. I just don't know what it is. And uh, is this little fella. Now this little fella gets used sometimes it's one of those things i carry around i don't use it an awful lot it's a it's called an intervalometer you plug it into your camera and it allows you to take a picture at the press of a button here rather than press the button on the top of the camera now if you're doing landscape photography then you may want to do that if you don't want to move the camera don't want to uh, create a bit of shake on the tripod but to be fair it's so minimal these days and tripods are so solid that it's not a massive issue however if that is a concern you can use your self timer or you can use one of these the other great things that these do is these are these are programmable. These are only cheap. This is a brand called Falsy. Probably is Falsy. It's probably a, an imitation of a more expensive brand. But these intervalometers are great because you can program them to do all sorts of stuff. So, for example, you could say, take a picture every 10 seconds for two minutes, and you can get a bit of a time lapse going, and uh, and then things like that. Really, really useful things to have around. Uh, don't use it very often, but it, it is in there. We'll come to that in a moment. Uh, a nice new bag of lens caps. I tend to go through lens caps frequently. Um, every time I go out, I seem to lose a lens cap. I went out a few weeks ago, dropped a lens cap down the gully, never seen it since. So I do carry lens caps for some reason. Uh, I forgot I ever had this. This is one of those little um, bubble things that goes clips on the top of your camera. There we go. Just clips in there like that. Let's you know whether, you, whether your camera's level or not. Now, the, most cameras have got that functionality built in. If you look on the live view on the right, it'll tell you whether your camera's straight or not. Someone gave that to me quite a few years ago. Sadly, it's been in the camera bag ever since. Never used it. If anybody wants it, let me know. It's yours. Um, and then on to the last thing that I carry in here, which is a filter system. I've already shown you this ring, um, which we'll come to in a second. So this is the filter holder. It's quite big. I use a 150 system. This is made by a company called Nissi. Um, I particularly like this one because a, a, it fits natively onto the, onto the Tamron lens without uh, any adapters. You just screw it on and, and, and away it goes. Um, but also it's got this quite clever mechanism inside it which allows you to put a circular polarizer in there. It's got a little button on the side and as you turn the little button, the, the circular polarizer will twist inside. Because what I find with circular polarizers is if you start twisting them with your finger, there's a chance you can very slowly over a period of time unscrew them from the thread and you make one little adjustment and flop 
the polarizers on the floor in several pieces and it has happened um, so having a little button on the side which does it for you without enabling it to fall on the floor is really useful so that's made by a company called Nissi this little adapter here fits on the inside of there and then screws onto the other two lenses that I've got so the the 2470 and the 70 to 200 and just allows that whole mechanism to mount onto those other lenses again really useful piece of kit filter bag we all got loads of filters we all carry loads of filters around with us um, having a good bag for them to keep them nice and safe and protected is is phenomenally important I've broken quite a few filters in the past by having cheap rubbish bags so this is a Lee one it works really well and the reason I like it is because it's got these little clips on the back which do allow you to put it around the tripod and have it quite nicely hanging there whilst you're doing your photography inside what do I carry first of all I've got here which one's this this is I think this is a uh, Firecrest ND Firecrest 1.2 neutral density filter so that just takes a little bit of light out of the image allows you to slow it down that's about the equivalent of one of Lee's little stoppers not not quite exactly there but it's in that in that zone really really useful um, filter to have next to that I've got the uh, I've got another filter this is a uh, polarizer that's a landscape polarizer a square one that time really really good for just bringing out the detail in the skies or cutting out a bit of reflection really useful well, I've got the, the polarizers out here's another polarizer this is the I call it the dinner plate uh, it's a nice 150 polarizer this one screws into the front of, of this mechanism and, uh, and and does the turny thing and that's that's phenomenal I love that polarizer and that's what I use probably most of the time and the only other filter I carry on a day-to-day -day basis is, is this one. Most people will recognize that already. It's a 150 system. That's a Lee Big Stopper. And uh, that allows you to take out quite a lot of light and create some really nice uh, effects of slowing things down, having a nice slow shutter speed. Obviously, we have other filters. I have other filters, um, and I'm sure everybody will, but I don't carry them all on a day-to-day -day basis, things like graduated filters, but really useful. But they're the ones I carry in my bag as I'm just sort of mooching around. And that is pretty much my bag. Uh, oh, it's not. I've got one more thing to show you, which is really useful. I just have to zip my bag up first to flip it over. And if we do that and come around the back, then I've got a little flap here on the on the on the rear. And if I pull that out, I've got I've got this. And this is I'll just chuck that down there. This is really useful because this is uh, a car windscreen protector. My car windscreen protector gets used quite a bit, so it's got a little bit of a little bit of softy sponge in it which means that if the ground is hard I can kneel on it nicely without hurting my poor little knees give them a bit of a break but also if it's particularly muddy and I want to lay down they actually get quite big so you can just stick that on the ground lay on top of it and you're not going to get your nice expensive clothes all muddy and dirty because as you can see I very rarely dress for photography I quite often dress for the office and then come and do some photography so that is uh, really important. That costs about, I don't know, a five or a tenner maybe. And they get them from any old petrol station. So when you lose them or they get wrecked, you can just pick another one up really easily. And thankfully for me, Kata put a nice little pocket in the back there to keep that going. So that's exactly what I carry in my bag. I've been asked to do this video by a number of people now. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. See you again next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.